Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss Lead Code Weekly Contest Street 29 question uh, Minimum Cost to Split an Array So here you are given an integer array nums and an integer k uh, Further, you need to split uh, into some array such that each array is a non-empty subarray and further, the cost of each split of a, is, is equal to the impedance value So here the impedance value is defined as so let's say if this is a sub array 3 1 2 4 3 4 then we trim it means in trimming what we do we just remove the elements with single frequency so your uh, element 1 it has only one frequency we remove that it also element 2 and the remaining elements length is known as the importance of the va importance value of the sub array means the length of the stream sub array plus the k that is the importance of that sub array so for an example here we have the add sub array like this now the importance of this would be first remove all the elements with a single frequency then the remaining elements length uh, would be fine so this is the trim subarray and its importance of this complete subarray would be uh, said as 5 pl 5 plus k k is a given value so that is how we are the importance of a subarray is defined and we need to uh, split this uh, array into as many number of subarray such that this importance is minimized as we need to return minimum possible cost and further sub array is a contiguous uh, uh, elements contiguous part of an array so means here we cannot take any random elements we have to take continuous elements uh, as a sub array got it uh, so now let's take a look at the first example so here this is the array so they are given few of the possible split so if one we split like this by taking first two elements and second split and second uh, half we take this all elements in the second sub array so here number of repeated elements is zero so trim array length is zero and we added k so thus the total cost is two now for the other sub array the, uh, the number of elements in the trim are three three this one and this one so total length of the trim length of the trim sub array is four so this is four two plus two and we are adding k six so total uh, cost of this sub array is six so total cost of splitting this nums array is 6 plus 2 that is 8 right similarly we did here we split from 1 to 2 and remaining 1 to 1 in the another sub array we calculated the uh, cost of or the importance of each sub array then we added the cost to get the total uh, value of this nums similarly we did here so uh, as, you guys, as you guys can see here if we have any array like this What we are doing we are trying to split this array in some of the sub array see we, you can split like this one two and three one two or you can split like one in the one sub array and two three one two in the another sub array or you can split like this one two three in the first sub array and one two in the another sub array similarly there are many possible ways where uh, by which you can split this sub array so what are these as you can see here these are the choices so these are the choices uh, of how you can split array or the number of ways you can split array so uh, to solve this type of question where we have n number of choices what we do we do we use dp uh, and try to trace all the possible n uh, n types of choices and uh, we and we try to find the minimum possible answer okay so uh, here what we would so if you try to derive a choice diagram it would be something like this so let me just show you once how the choice diagram or decision tree would be there it would be like this see first um, half you take one as a single element and um, two three one two as another element in the second you take one two as the first and three one two as the second else you can take one two three as the first one two in the second uh, then one two three one at the in the one array and two in the second sub array. Similarly, now further also you can split this. You can split, take one, two, and three, uh, three, one, two in the second. So this is two here. So this is how you can split it multiple times. And what you will do each time you will return minimum possible answer. So by taking see what we did, you will calculate the answer for this sub array by taking the trim length and adding the k value. Then again you will split. If on splitting this answer, that is answer from here and answer from here, adding both. If you add both, if this answer from this root is less than equal to this parent, then we will take the answer from the root. Correct? That means 
see if you have let's say uh, here let's say the uh, cost of this subheading is x1 if you split it into let's say 3 and 1 2 if the cost of this is x2 and cost of this is x3 now what you will do we will take minimum of x1 comma x2 plus x3 got it and you will return to the uh, parent okay so this is how we would solve this question by taking uh, by dividing into the multiple subheaders and each time for a subheading uh, we will choose the minimum answer possible answer so i hope you guys understood uh, the intuition as well as approach now further we will do one optimization optimization that we will keep uh, the uh, trimmed length uh, already calculated from i to j so whenever you need uh, the number of uh, the length of trim length as a better so we will pre-calculate this and uh, so this will re uh, uh, help us to reduce our time complexity because we have to calculate this once and after all the times we will simply use the answer present in this trim length and we, this is how we will do dp plus uh, recursion that is memorization to solve this equation so now let's move on to the coding part where uh, I will show you in uh, more detail of how we are solving this question. So as I told you first that we will uh, pre-calculate this stream length for each subarray from i to j. So let me make one 2D vector. It would be of size n. So first let me initialize n as nums dot size. Let me name it as length. And let me also initialize uh, with 0. Now we will loop from 0 to n. Let us take one another integer let's uh, integer vector map um, and let me initialize to 1001 and 0 and int count. So this uh, count will store uh, the length of the subway from i to j. So we will again run a loop from j equal to i up till n we would do m of nums of j plus plus that is increment frequency now if m of nums of j is uh, equals to 2 that means uh, for let's say for this type of sub area if we have got an element like 3 uh, here so initially the frequency of 3 is 1 then at this point the frequency of 3 becomes 2 so when the frequency of 3 was 1 we haven't included int in this stream length subheading but when its frequency became 2 we added both the previous 3 and this 3 got it the previous 3 and the, this 3 so what we are doing here is we are incrementing count by 2 and in the else condition if m of nums of j is greater than 2 that means we only have to increment it by 1 because let's say there was one another more 3 after 4 there was another 3 then we would only increment by 1 because all the uh, above two threes are added okay and here what we would do we would simply make length of i j equals to count that means the total uh, the trim length of the sub array from i to j is equal to this c and t and here we will call one solve function where we will do a recursion and we will here i will pass nums k length and one zero index to this solve function okay now before that let me also take one dp of size 1001 because the maximum length is 1000 and we will do meme set that is initialized dp with minus 1 okay now here let's code the solve function nums int and of k vector vector int length and let us also pass by reference and in index so now uh, this is a recursive function so we have to write the base condition that is if uh, index is greater than equals to nums dot size then what we would simply return zero okay since we are doing memorization we if we check if dp of index is not equal to minus one that means we have already computed the value then we will simply return uh, this dp of i index this is a memorization step now we would loop from index up till nums dot size so uh, and let me also initialize one answer variable as int max 
so let me take int current equal to so the current answer would be length of i index to i plus k correct and if you uh, make a partition here and a uh, for so for so the cost from the next sub array would be solve nums k length and i plus one so so what we did here is i will show you here so if you are making a partition here let's say means this in the one sub array and this in the some sub, another sub array so what you are doing you are calculating the current answer that is uh, that is the trim length from i to j plus k so this is the current answer okay and this for to calculate the answer for this we would again call the solve function right in the next and here we would simply return and we would simply make answer is the minimum of answer and current plus next got it and we would simply store uh, this answer in dp of index and we would return this answer okay so this is this was how we solve this question now let me try to run this uh, so let me try to submit this so yeah our code got accepted uh, so i hope you guys understood the approach as well as the intuition the intuition was the simple that we have to make choices of how where to uh, make a partition and create a sub array now further to calculate the cost we init initialize one length variable that is the trim length of a sub array from i to j then uh, what we did we we code this recursive function and memoize it with the help of dp uh, and that's how we are with solve this question now talking now talking about the time complexity the time complexity of this solution would be big of n square uh, and also the space complexity would be, would be big of n square as we are uh, doing this study array making this study array so yeah that's what that would be the time and space complexity so that's all for this video i hope you guys understood the solution uh, and if you have still any doubts then let me know in the comment section make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you